We received in 2006 a wonderful deed of gift of historic photographs of old mineral wells. When we received the collection from the AF Weaver family, we knew that we wanted to put it online. The Portal of Texas History has enabled access to the records, the history, the culture of Texas and the important uh, social context of Texas uh, in entirely new ways that have far-reaching impacts. People really wanting to share the content that they have with others. I think the Portal to Texas History provides an amazing value to our partners. So we decided that this would be a good way that we could help build a collection for Texas and for UNT um, that our students could use and our faculty could use, but that we could share then with the rest of the world. So the Portal to Texas History is tremendously important because it provides primary source materials, massive amount of Texas history materials to any researcher anywhere. It is entirely free of charge, entirely publicly accessible, and is preserved in perpetuity. AF was a photographer, and a good photographer, and he rescued a lot of the old photographs that had been used in the Mineral Wells Index, which is the local paper, kept their originals and made negatives of them. And that is what is the core of this collection that we have. Now, there are many different kinds of materials in the Portal to Texas history, from very large maps uh, to photographs to letters, historical letters, historical newspapers. Uh, we're closing in on a million pages of historical newspapers from Texas. We're always surprised at how many people from around the world have an interest in what we put up on the Portal to Texas History. We are very grateful for having received funding from the NEH and the Library of Congress through their grants, the National Digital Newspaper Program, which supports digitization and preservation of newspapers from Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. We also work with a foundation called the Talker Foundation, who has been tremendously generous for funding digital access to newspapers from Texas populations of towns under 12,000 people. Without libraries, there isn't any lens on the past. There isn't any ability to preserve the record of scholarship, the record of events of the past. It's imperative that we support libraries. It's imperative that we enable libraries to continue growing and providing new innovative services. You can't go wrong with going to, with the Portal to Texas History. They're phenomenal, and it's been a wonderful experience.